common is this? Not very. There used to be eight of us. Six weeks ago, Becky Olson began using her unique skill at Hattiesburg Clinic's Plastic Surgery Center. They don't think about tattoo artists when they think about anything medical. She's one of only three medical tattoo artists in the entire state of Mississippi. What I do is I camouflage scars like open heart surgery patients. I do areola tattooing for breast cancer patients, basically implanting the color that they've lost. Olsen can make scarring seemingly disappear with no machines, just her hands, this pen, these tiny needles, and an assortment of colors. But for mastectomy patients, once the surgery is done, you just basically have a mound of flesh. It's about improving the appearance. I kind of step in and give that sense of normalcy to the woman who's had the complete mastectomies. And it's just that little bit of color added to the breast that gives them back that femininity. Rick Pecunia has been a plastic surgeon for 20 years. And he says when it comes to two categories of patients, Olson picks up where plastic surgeons leave off. The first and obvious is the cosmetic patient, those who uh, ask us about permanent makeup in terms of permanent eyeliners, permanent eyelash uh, tattooing. And for post-surgical or reconstruction patients, Pecunia adds Olson's medical tattooing gives the patient the intangibles. In terms of their self-esteem, their feeling of completeness, um, just the way they look, the way they feel about themselves. I mean, it, it's, it's truly something. 